Yes, I am. So I forgot to show the paintings I wanted to show. So these are progress of me doing like sun and moon. And you'll see I have an obsession of trees. I really do. I like painting trees. I love trees. I don't know why. But I do. So this is the first sun and moon I did. It's not like fabulous, but it's still pretty good, I think. For my first one, I love it. It gives me like beautiful little tree action. And then this is the next one I did. So it's just the moon and it goes this way, like a little, like a hangling bed dream catcher kind of look, like when over a baby's crib, what is that, a mobile? And this lovely shiny half moon. And it's very wispy. This is the second one, moon, sun and moon I've drawn. I've drawn like landscapes and stuff, or like painted, I mean, as well. And then this is the latest one. And it's all shiny. We'll do a close up. It's a little different. It's still the sun and moon mantra. I'm very intrigued about like seeing these signs. And for some reason, I I believe that the sun's a man and the moon's the woman. Even though everyone says there's the man on the moon in Canada, I think it's Ronald McDonald or someone in drag makeup. Just saying. <laughs> so, we're just going to grab some stuff quick from this drawer of doom. Because, okay, I'm going to... Grab this, because I feel like that's too yellow. Um, let's go into with this, because I haven't used that in a while. We'll, I'll use this as, no, I'll just use this, straight up this with this. Um, I don't want to use that. And this. And everything else I have up. All right. So I got some new Boo Boo Blenders. I got some new LA Colors and some weird benefit stuff from Dollarama and some lipstick. And I don't think the lipstick's going to match this look. I just want to try it on and see how it feels, okay? So we're going to go straight into it. We're going to be talking about mermaids. because, And I want to know how you guys feel. Like, I don't know how to do affiliate links. I'm not that cool. We're going to go in with some e.l.f primer and blemish control primer it's really really nice i enjoy it um i'm a two maybe three pump girl it depends on how my face and skin's doing with it and i literally put it everywhere because it's a blemish control and i put a lot on my forehead because my nose and my forehead is probably the worst And I didn't do around my eyes this time because, I don't know, maybe I should have. And yes, I get acne, I get all of it, so, and I get a lot from primers or full fashion, full thing of foundations and stuff. So, back to mermaids. So what I've, I, I go, every so often I'll go on my YouTube and I'll watch conspiracy videos or people's videos and I'll write them down, the, the channels I watch, where you can go to their channel, check it out, give them some port, watch their ads, get them some dough because that's how they get the money is watching the ads and help them out or, you know, just have a little fun doing it. So, what I did, that's what I did. So... We're going to be talking about mermaids, and these are kind of the channels I looked into and what I watched upon, like, real-life footage, as close as you can get. That doesn't really look like CGI. Um, there's a couple, uh, one person's channel that I've watched a couple times, and they don't, they don't always talk about these topics on this channel, but his channel's really cool to me. Like, I don't even know if he's posted on that in a while, but I really liked his perspective on mermaids from, like, his community. 
So this, it's not this one, but I'm just going to tell you the channel's names and I'll discuss what I feel about like mermaids and the mythology afterwards, okay? So there's a YouTuber called Mind Bloggers slash Pictures. Yeah, 15 real mermaids in mermaid sightings from history. There's Zohan Stargate. Stargate. Uh, ancient discoveries. Um, they talk about like mythology and like the first hand accounts as well of uh, uh, more. Um, on the mythological side or historical side, not everyday encounters. Um, and they talk about water people. So like, um, like me, like some people think Atlanteans are mermaids. I personally think mermaids are two things and I'll explain that later on. And most of these, like the Zoan arts talk about, um, more of the lines of them being gods than evolution. So... And something, the, the advance of real mermaids, yeah, and the, and, yeah, they talk about advancements, like how from back in history to the, to present day and talk about mermaids, all bodies of water. So all the way from BC, Ogopogo, supposedly a uh, mythical mermaid to New Zealand and all them places in between, there's mermaid sightings everywhere on oceans and sea coastlines. I think there's different species of mermaids and everything of that. Because this is one mythology creature I actually do think is ex fairies, Bigfoot, slash yetis, slash all of them, and of course demons and all that, but that's a whole other ball game and I don't know if I want to talk about things like that yet. But we can. We can talk about my first encounters of the spiritual realm. But I've never had, I've only had one incident where I felt like I was on something in water, and it was in Lake Mish, no, Lake Erie. I'm pretty sure it was Lake Erie, and I'm like standing, like literally feet out of the water, and only thing when I stepped on this thing was this much. To this day, we went right out where I ran back in, and we couldn't find the rock. So maybe I was on something. That's freaking creepy. Even if it was a big ass turtle. That's freaking big ass turtle. Um, something, somebody else. This is the soundproof film. Okay, soundproof film is something I actually was very intrigued about. How he went into a village. I don't know if it was his village or someone else's village. Here, let's get on some of this face that I'm not just sitting there. So, I'm going in with Nick's professional hydrating... Yeah, studio foundation. It's supposedly full coverage. And I'm going to go in with this new Lori blush. Blush. No. This new Lori sponge. And I'm going to do concealer with the Bisco. Bisco. Brisco. Brisco? I think it's Brisco. But I want to try the angle. And I don't do my full face with this. I normally do a full face with a brush. And then I'll sponge after. But we're going to just go right in with going in and I think it absorbs a lot more doing it this way than on the brush but that's okay so yeah he does more um this sound uh, yeah soundproof films does a little bit more than just um he doesn't see any mermaids of course if you're wondering that and want me to skip to you and tell you that he doesn't he just talks about more first hand encounters with people living in societies uh in the society where um they live off the fear of the mermaid the like monster i think i put too much on this one oh well blend 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 i normally put on but i don't feel like it's that dark so i'm gonna put on um my uh my maybe I got this in my hair I don't even know <laughs> I just realized afterwards I'm like I'm holding this up with 
and a little in here. You gotta do that just so it looks normal. And yeah, why not? Just press it on it. I like this. This isn't bad. Sponge at all. It's not too soft. It's not too mushy. This color is definitely when I'm more tanned. I am not this tanned. That's why I grab different stuff. Alright. So I'm just going on with a little bit of this and just letting it settle here. And so here. And a little bit here. And a little bit here. A little there because it's still going through. These ones. A little here. Just cover that guy up in this. A little on my nose. And that's it. Maybe there. Because that looks really red. And then I'm just going to go in with the same. And just tap it in. A lot of people don't tap it in. But, or brush it in. Uh, only with a yellow. If it was like I was using any other color, I wouldn't have tapped it in. I would have used the brush. But yellow is very neutral with my skin tone. And I want to try this sponge. So I might as well try it for every diamond sword. Okay. I like to use the... I feel like this is lifted up. Or I just didn't put enough on my face. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, he talks about in his town, um, first-hand encounters with mermaids, which is cool. I like that a lot. And this is um, Maybelline's Dream Illuminating. I know it's a little off color, but I have a white that I use. I'll uh, get down here. I don't want to use a lot of this. So. Sorry, I gotta wipe this off best as I can because I don't want the color staying on it, but at the same time, I didn't put it on my hand. All right, we're going with the little guy. So, yeah, he talks about first hand encounters with townspeople. Some people think it's fake, some people think it's real, some people are scared to go by the water, some people think it's just like a superstition, mermaids, to like, that's like. Stay away from the lake, you know, to keep their kids a little scared. I love this. This thing's good. I've never used a little one. I always use, like, the other end or a brush, but I'll use this any day. Because it actually saves up a lot of time. I like it. Okay. So for setting powder, I so I went in with e.l.f. Camo Concealer in white. In, yeah, in white. Just be, I have it because say if your foundation or anything, you mix it up with it and I'll change your color. So I have white and then the dream. And then I was using Femission Formula as my um, words are not my friend as my corrector. So I love Fit Me. I don't use it all the time. If you notice, I've been, uh, I realize this is a little bit light for my shade, but that's okay. And I put it on before I put on blush and contour or bronzer. Contour is bronzer in my opinion. Everybody's different. So, yeah, like, uh, the whole townspeople, I forgot what I was talking about for a second. I was like, I'm looking good. 
That's <laughs> I'm like, oh man. The ego's coming out. The more the makeup comes on. And yes, this is t colored. It's just very fair. Yeah, it says it's translucent, but it's colored to me. Okay. So I got that on, that on. I'm going to use two different blushes, but before that, I want to try this contour from Beauty Benefit. That's like cheap sticker on here. Yeah, I am. Um... I'm just going to go in with a like an angled brush and try and hit this one. And see if there's anything that's coming out. Okay, I'm pressing pretty hard now. Okay, there we go. Very fair. Very, very fair. If you want a very fair... No, I don't like it. It's not the best, that's for sure. But for $1.25, will you do the job? Yeah, I could do the job. It's not like the best job. I feel, have a feeling these blushes are going to be the thing. Okay, I don't know if I want to put any more of this on. Alright, let's do my nose. And <laughs> leave it at that because it's pretty. Like, I don't know. I like a contour that's like so disgustingly too much where you're like, what did you just put on your face? I'm like 50 pounds of it can't the shock shit. You know? Like, what do you think I put on my face? <laughs> Alright, back to the mermaids. Good, and I'm good into the makeup, and I forget. I'm like, I look so good. I'm like, what did I put on my face? I'm like, ah, oh, deal. It still looks good. It's very fair. I think that's my thing. It's that I'm so used to it's like, it's a no makeup look. Like, it looks like I did do something, but it's like, you just did so. And I'm not so. I'm like, too much. Always. You see my videos. I'm too much. So back to the mermaids. So, mythology, facts, and fictions, mer um, the title's Mermaids and the Dark Mess Up of Origins. So, this is more about the mythological side, famous people, like, when I mean famous people, it's like mythology people, like, the so-called gods. So, I'm going in with this weird brush. I really want to try it as a nose contour, because I really don't nose contour. And I think this is a very good way for me to experiment using a lighter shade. That's, I think, the only thing this is good that came out. Only thing bad is it's taking off all my makeup underneath. And I don't know if it's the product just being crappy or if it's the brush being crappy. <laughs> no, I think it's this product. It's just not as red. Okay, I'm just going to take a BB blender and blend it out a little bit. I didn't know it was that red. Yeah, that's not bad. Give me some definition, not anything amazing. Alright, I'm going to go with this Lucy brush into the little contour part. I just rub it around my eyes to see if it does anything. It's alright, alright? This is not, like, gonna be, like, a go-to. I would not go to this. But if you are a nude look queen, i definitely say this would do it. I think it would. And maybe it's just the brush. Maybe it's just me. I'm going with a little lighter one. I like to define my chin more because it makes me look cooler. Like it defines like it's like I don't know. It doesn't look horrible. It's just it's not the best for a dollar twenty five. But am I gonna throw it away? No, because if I wanted a no makeup makeup look, that would be perfect. And yes, I just went in with a little and I used the sponge from 
The Mabel. The Mabel. All right. So, really, okay, I like it. I'm like off topic today, okay? I'm going in and out, in and out, and I'm like, gotta try to be done this video in 20 minutes, in this past 20 minutes, again, like my other video. I think I'm just like, out of sorts, and <laughs> when I'm out of sorts, maybe I should just not try to do a, a video of talking, just do a video of talking about life, about myself, maybe, or something, so, I don't know. So these two colors are very different. So this one's more like a peachy, and this one's more like a pinky. But we're gonna go in with both. We're gonna try both. I'm gonna go in with the curved brush I used with the bronzer, because I feel like it didn't pick up anything. And we'll go in with this side with the LA Colors blush, which is beautiful. I see this blush isn't lifting up anything. I think it's just my, the bronzer's just not for me. And I have to remember that all this is $1.25. Like, it's not like I spent millions of dollars on this. But I can tell right here it's bloody and I don't know what it's from. It could be from the blenders. It could just be me having a bad day with my makeup. All right, so I don't wanna use the same brush, but I will find, I have this flat brush from a Sailor Moon set. And we'll go in with the peachy kind from this Benefit one that I used that contour. That was me. If you want no, no makeup look. Oh, this is pretty. This could be like a no no makeup look too. Ooh, naturally no it couldn't. This is very pigmented. This is very pretty. I don't really go with a peachy. I'm more like pink, like Barbie pink blush. That's what I want in my life. But this, I'm gonna blend it in across my forehead cause I'm caught. Let's put this across my nose, tip of my nose. Run this in a little more in this. Mmm. Like this is pretty. I like this. This was nothing wrong with. But this is actually like whoa. For like this is actually way better. I feel like I just put on cover girl. Let's do a little pink down here, give it a little more color. I love this. You can tell the difference immediately. Okay. So I'm not talking about mermaids anymore. I'm going to redo this mermaid thing. You're getting the good, bad, and ugly on my channel. This mermaid thing, when I don't feel like I'm out of sorts, I'm going to discuss this. Like, hands down, I will use stuff that's not new, use stuff that's old, and just sit down and talk about it. Because I'm not good at doing both. I'm going to sit down, just discuss the topic, and then go for it and put the makeup on. Don't do both because I get distracted with the makeup. So I'm going to forget about the Viva Glam lipstick. Does it, it says it's shade 3. It says it's a shimmer lipstick. Viva Color. It doesn't smell bad. And yes, my lips are dry, so you will see every crack, wrinkle... Is this the most amazing lipstick? No. Is this a nice lipstick that you could mix with something like a nude? Oh yeah, this is like a topper. This would it, and it smells really nice, like not flowery nice, like maybe mixed with a food nice, but it's very shiny. I would not go for this, but yeah, I would. I would probably put this with like a nude lipstick and put this on top to make it a little shiny in the middle and it, where I put it on is there like it didn't move which is actually very impressive for a dollar 25 lipstick that I bought from like it's like that lip gloss it was like wow this is actually not that bad same thing with this elf 
I bought it for a dollar twenty-five, and it's actually really good. Like I think if I put this on, and then put this on top, that's a chef kiss. All right, we need some highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this contour brush that's poofy, and we're just gonna go in with some Elf, basic old Elf. I know. It's because I'm so rosy. And I'm wearing two different colors so it looks a little off. But you know what? It still looks cool. And I'm just going to brush it in. Move it up. And we're just going in with the rose side. I don't want any other color. And I'm just rolling it in circles like you could tell. And then I rub it up. Because I like to be shiny everywhere if we get technical. And then I'm going to put some on my eyelid. Do the same thing over here. Unroll it. Oh, it looks prettier over here. I think it's because I really wasn't expecting to like that brush. Because I'm not into anything but really pink. A little on my nose. A little on the cupid. A little on my chin. Because why not? And a little bit up here. And yes, I rub it all over. I don't leave it like it's a forehead. Alright. So that's my look today. Sorry that I didn't discuss mermaids enough. I'm not even putting that in the title. I messed up this whole show to talking about mermaids, so I'm not really going to go there. <laughs> All right. I'm not, I'm human. I'm not perfect. You will get the good, bad, and the ugly, like I said on this channel. And yeah, I shouldn't have done it. Or shouldn't have tempted. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'm sorry that this video is like... 27 minutes long. You know, it's, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You guys are lovely. You guys are cruel. And you hope you guys are keeping it kick, keeping it fit, and keeping it fun. Because, you know, body break. Hope don't they don't, I hope they don't, like, come after me. Because I really, like, think people should be doing that, and so should I. <laughs> but I, I keep it fit the other way. <laughs> fit and eating cake. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I know it's a little different. I know I just chatted about life for like eternity and took all your time and wasted it. I didn't hope I didn't waste it. I hope you guys watch the video before and get a little self-help. Uh, I feel like <laughs> maybe I need to take some of the advice, you know what I'm saying? So I have hope you have a good day. I hope you keep it crazy, keep it fit, keep it fun, keep it real. Thousand and one dog kisses today. And have a good one.